Hey friends, today I've got something seriously unique to share. No, it's not a phone or a car, it's a stealth drone. Its name, Shahid-161. And yeah, it feels like a spy movie. Stick around, because what you'll hear today will surprise you. After Iran captured the RQ-170, they said, now it's our turn. They started reverse engineering, step by step, but not copying. They weren't just cloning, they were creating their own unique path. So they started small, testing out the flying wing design first. They built the Shahid-141 with a piston engine to experiment. Then came Shahid-161 with a jet engine to push limits. It played a testing role, proving the flying wing could work. Basically, it was the lab rat for stealth drone development. By 2020, it showed up in public military expos and events. We saw it in Tehran, Isfahan, Kish, kind of a showcase tour. But they didn't show everything. It kept its secrets, as expected. It was mysterious, small, and definitely not a normal drone. Let's talk design. This bird has no tail, no traditional wings. It's a full flying wing shape, sleek and radar evading. The body is made of radar absorbing composite materials. Stealth is the name of the game. It's built to vanish. It's got a composite body, strong, lightweight, and hard to spot. The engine's a microjet, not your average drone propeller. That tall antenna? It's likely for deep communication resilience, especially useful if there's jamming or GPS blackouts nearby. Navigation-wise, it's got GPS and its own inertial system. So if satellites go dark, it still finds its way home. It even features onboard AI for smart flight decisions. It can fly semi-autonomously or fully autonomously if needed. The wingspan is around six meters, the body less than two. Takeoff weight is about 170 kilos, pretty light for a jet. It can reach up to eight kilometers in altitude with ease. Its microjet engine screams power despite its small size. Endurance? About two hours of flight, decent for this size. Its range up to 500 kilometers with a 150 kilometer combat radius. It can launch from afar, hit targets, and return clean. And most won't even realize it was ever in the sky. Launch is from a rail, no runway needed, super mobile. Recovery, it belly lands or uses a parachute to return. Think of it like a stealthy commando hit and vanish. It doesn't need big airfields or fancy takeoff systems. Weapons? Yep, even though it's small, it packs a punch. It can carry two light precision-guided Sadid bombs under body. Each bomb weighs between 34 and 50 kilos, deadly and sharp. Perfect for striking command vehicles or mobile radars quietly. If it doesn't carry bombs, it becomes a reconnaissance expert you can attach day cameras, thermal optics, or infrared systems. It gives sharp, real-time visuals, both in daylight and dark. It's basically the eyes of field commanders from the sky. Now, why build it in the first place? What's the logic here? Iran needed a low-cost, stealthy drone for quick strikes. Something between kamikaze micro-drones and the big, heavy ones, like a middle child, between Shahid-129 and the Seamorg. They wanted to reduce risks while keeping solid performance. If one crashes, it's no big loss, not like the big birds. It sneaks in deep, does recon or light strikes, then exits. No need for massive drones that cost a fortune to risk. Let's compare it with the famous Shahid-129 drone. The 129 has great range but it's not stealthy at all. It's bulky, easy to spot by radar, definitely more vulnerable. Shahid-161, it's like a ghost, sneaky and slick. Now let's compare it with the Seymour or Shahid-171. That one's a beast, strategic range, turbofan engine, massive size. 
but it's expensive and only for top-level strategic missions. Shahid-161 is more tactical, made for everyday combat zones. That means the 161 sits nicely between those two types. It's light, cost-effective, stealthy, and still combat-capable. Great for fast, targeted missions, not just for passive recon. It blends agility with serious stealth technology, no joke. It's even seen real action, like in Syria and beyond. Used to hit armored vehicles and ammo depots with precision, works well alongside suicide drones from maximum punch power. While others distract, the 161 lands the surgical strike. Electronic warfare? Yeah, it's not helpless. It's pretty clever. It uses encrypted data links that resist jamming attempts. Even without GPS, it still flies with its own internal map. The tall antenna keeps comms alive when satellites go dark. It can even be used for jamming or electronic listening ops. It can block radar signals or eavesdrop on enemy comms, though it loses bomb space when equipped for EW missions. Still, the flexibility is there if commanders need it. So far, we've talked history, but what about its future? In 2025, Iran publicly tested its new jet engine model. At an aerospace expo, they fired it up in front of crowds. That jet roar? It made headlines. The thing is operational now. The engine sat on a test stand, roaring to life on camera. It runs on JP-8 fuel and generates about 100 kilograms thrust. Perfect size and sound for a light tactical stealth drone. This wasn't CGI. It was live, real, and ready for use. Media said this test means the drone's tech is now mature. They've got a domestic engine, no foreign parts needed anymore. The research phase is done. It's now prepped for real flights. We'll likely see it more in drills and even combat soon. So let's wrap it up. Shahid-161 is one special bird. Not just stealthy, it's practical, smart, and built for now. It's not just RQ-170 shadow, it's a new leap forward. A smart solution that fits perfectly between big and small. If you're into drones and defense tech, this is just the beginning. Iran is stepping into next-gen drone warfare with confidence. The more time passes, the more we'll see drones like this. If you liked it, drop a like and share it with friends.